Libra. We're here for your work reading. Though a lot of these readings are not going in that area, we're going to see if we can get there. <laughs> uh, we'll get you a message either way. Um, the Pulp Tarot, we'll get right into it here. The first card we have for you is the devil. <laughs> so we may be dancing with the devil. We have the enslaved man and the enslaved woman underneath. So we may be enslaved to the devil in some kind of way here. Let's get moving. Let's get underneath this sucker. <laughs> the next card, the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> is this the devil? Could very well be. Now this energy has come in one of my readings in the past here, and they're bringing back that same energy. Uh, I'm not going to know. I, I'm getting, I think it was the Capricorn of the Sag uh, reading that it came out in. Nonetheless, uh, Knight of Pentacles. And they're giving me the same energy. This is someone who, usually on the devil's side, right? Uh, someone who has no... No feelings for someone else. Usually the Knight of Pentacles is not in this energy. But again, I, um, intuitive, not just go over the actual meaning of the card. The Knight of Pentacles is someone here who, uh, he may have a lot of followers. Um, yeah, he's got a squeaky clean image. But it's that's not where he's coming from. This is the devil's. He's definitely working on the devil's side here. We have someone sneaking into your energy field here, trying to gain momentum. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to move on to the third pulp card. We have the two of wands. Yeah, good. Okay, <laughs> so I was like, are we just going to dwell on negative here? Because I'm not going there. Two of wands is about choosing a direction to move away from that. Now, whether we do or do not know, and I feel as we pull cards here, we'll find out whether we do know where this sits or not. I feel like this person is, is highly veiled to us, and <clears throat> I don't know how much longer that's going to sit. Now, that may be our own intention. Like, we may be uh, getting guidance here to unveil this devil in our life, or uh, whatnot. I feel the sense is that we know where it sits, and we're moving away from it, no less, whether it's veiled or unveiled. Uh, <clears throat> if it's truly veiled, which it's not, we wouldn't be able to see it. So we wouldn't be able to move away from it. But at this point, we're seeing it, so we're moving away from it. Choosing the higher road is what they're saying. Okay. Okay, let's move on here. Uh, the next row, the feminine infinity, on top of the devil to expand there. We have the ace of water. Okay. Because that cancels the devil right out. When we go to our true heart of things, that that really is about accepting love from the universe in order to cancel out all the darkness. So this is good. We're washing this devil right out of our hair. That's the sense that I'm getting. Whether it's in the form of a person or someone around us. But I don't feel, if it's a person, I don't feel there's someone that's exposed to you. Meaning, <clears throat> they're very you know, two-faced or whatever, this kind of thing. So that's good because we've chosen, and again, we've chosen to come from our heart here. And because of that, the devil just has no input because he doesn't come from heart. He comes from revenge and hateful and jealous and all these kind of feelings. He don't come from heart. So um, this is canceling the source is what they said. The source of all of that is now been rerouted. We've chosen the light path and da da da. So this is good. This is all good. As would, you know, the Libra anyway. It's in their nature to go in this way. The Knight of Pentacles on top of that energy. This should be interesting. The Eight of Fire communication. So we may get some communication from these little buggers <laughs> coming in, trying to stir up their pot, right? Because they're feeling the drive to do it. I do feel around October because of all the, I don't know if it's Halloween, like where the root of that came from, <clears throat> but it seems like in October, this is the last try before the end of the year to stir up some trouble. This is kind of what I get. So the Eight of Fire is about communications, incoming, could be um, text messages and whatnot. Um, this can be coming directly from that person who is pretending to be someone else to you. Um, uh, you know, the bad pretending to be the good, this kind of thing. But I think we're hip to that in some way because we turned our back. So as we move into the two of wands and the choices we make in the future to move away from this energy, 
We have the four of fire. Ooh. Yeah. They are saying partnership. We're moving to better partnerships. Those that glow and, and give a warm feeling on the inside of the heart. Um, yeah. We're seeing the light and we're being warmed by it. So the four of fire, that's um, like a homey feeling. That's also can be about celebrations and gatherings with people uh, in and amongst of heart center. This is where we're gravitating to. This is the choice we've made. Okay. <clears throat> now, as we get into the infinity work cards, brings back down here. Um, on top of the ace of water, again, we're choosing to let the love infuse us. On top of that, we got fatigue and don't give up. Yeah, devil's had its day with us, right? And we are tired of all of this negative energy. So much so to the degree that we feel like giving up, but <clears throat> the heart is still there and the universe is going to infuse you. You, they're going you. We have to quit looking outside of ourselves for validation of love. We have to supply it here first. And uh, that may be, we may be sick and tired of going outward and finding that there's no... Uh, you know, we can't find a devil. How do you say? We keep finding devil-infused people. People that are listening to the wrong side of, of things in their life. And we're tired of that. And they're saying, don't give up that there's not something that can nourish you on the heart plane. Right? So this is, uh, yeah. I feel like just recently we're, we're kind of struggling with that and that's leaking into our present. It's like, I give up trying to find something of worth because it seems like humanity, there's nothing there. But there is just, you know, somehow we're going to get introduced to that at this point. But not without the little devils coming back and try, trying to get their <clears throat> claws into you one more, one, one last time is what they said. Now... Uh, on top of the Eight of Fire, the Infinity card we get there is the Lone Wolf. Okay, here we go, giving up. We are really having a hard time having trust in others to, yeah, because we've been fooled so many times, what they said. We've been fooled so many times by these people that uh, are an illusion. They pretend to be good and then they turn out, uh, in the end, they do bad things, right? Um they hurt us in the end. And this, this is becoming quite obvious. And this is why or what has brought us to a lone wolf energy. Looking back to that don't give up card. They're saying it, it is, um, how, do, how do they say, it's mastery to be able to get into your zone and create that world for yourself and then push it outward. We just haven't been able to create, we're depending on other people to make us happy and we haven't been able to create that for ourselves consistently over the long term. And this is what, um, now that doesn't mean we got to stay alone forever, but it means when we can consistently do keep up that elevation level, keep up that vibration, Without feeling depressed, nobody's. That neediness is what's bringing in these devils, is what I'm getting here. So uh, that's the challenge in the present. I feel like right now we're kind of pessimistic, but we know we need to, you know, invest in our heart. We know there's goodness out there to a certain degree, but we're sick and tired of, of what we've got. So we don't want to go outward and, and touch anything because it's just always been shit. <laughs> it's what I'm getting. So let's move into the future, shall we? <laughs> a little bit. Two of Wands, Four of Fire, on top of that groovy energy. Again, we th there's a choice here that we're going to make. And we're on the verge of making. But again, we have to kind of go down in vibration, go back up and realize that, yeah, that don't feel good there. Like, let's go back up into where we're meant to be. The Four of Fire on top of there. The Infinity card we get is the Charm, 24. Now, this could be us, you know, deciding to charm other people and, and da-da. But I also get that someone else may be coming in here to charm us, is the sense. We may actually get someone here, and we got to be careful because of our past and all the deception. Uh, you know, we may have someone coming in here that we feel is just another trickster. And it may be someone that's trying to... Now, it may also... Because, you know, I said before... We are going to have another kick at the cat here. And the thing is, um, I feel like it's in two ways. One is good and one is bad, and we're going to have to decipher 
which is which here is what I'm getting. Two of Wands, yes. They give me back that energy. Go, yes, we have options. We can choose. And we will choose the light because our, we are strong enough. Though we don't perceive ourselves as such, this is, the, you know, the universe telling me. We do have faith they'll make the right decision because they can't. They've been too far in the dark. They hate the dark too much. As soon as it rears its head, a little red flag, boom, they're out of there. This is where we've um, we've gotten the Libra to be, right? And that's that's their natural ability. So this runs deeper. The ability to choose right and wrong runs deeper in the Libra than any other sign. So they really do and will not succumb to negative energies, even though they are veiled, is what they said, even though they are veiled. So charm is here. It's kind of sitting. <laughs> like, I don't know. So we're going to get into the cat tarot. On top of the f fatigue, the universe feels your energy, feels your ability to want to give up on all things. And they're saying, don't keep moving forward. We've got a lot, to, a lot of love to infuse to you. You have a lot of love to give. We don't want to cut that off. So on top of the fatigue card, we get the Ace of Cups. There it is again. We're surrounded by love here, is what they're saying. And not just... It's overflowing. We got other people. Look at how many, you know, this is actually the first Ace of Cups card that's got so many characters in it. <laughs> they got a couple, which we're going to have a, a decent couple that gives balance, right? Both cups are the same, holding the same. It's a very small graphic, but the couple here that's together, both have love to give. And that's not been in the past. We've been taken advantage of highly is the sense I get. And then we got children and you know, and other people. And then they're actually in the cup. They're showing another couple or, yeah, it's, well, they're giving me the essence is another couple getting to know each other in the hot tub and it's overflow, like just great, wonderful things that can come, but we're just not in a mode to see that right now. But we're, don't give up is what they're saying. Okay. So we're surrounded by love. We just haven't seen proof of it yet. Okay. That's what they're saying. Carry on. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is that energy, right? Uh, and again, that Knight of Pentacles could very well be a lone wolf going in your direction as well. These energies can uh, double up uh, as well as what they want us to be a lone wolf so they can take advantage is really what it is. Okay, so on top of that lone wolf energy, what do we get? We get the wheel. Yeah, the wheel's going to turn here and the universe, they have their cards and, and ain't nobody see it coming, you know, this kind of thing. The wheel of fortune, those that are on top of the wheel, it flips, they're going to see things. And then those that are on the bottom that don't see things, they're going to come to see things like this is what I'm getting. And the dragon's chasing the tail of, of, of everything here. That dragon chasing that cat, the sense they're giving me is nobody can stay on top forever. But if we're aware, we can maneuver ourselves to not be unaware any longer. And those that are unaware, that blindfold is going to stay off forever. We're not going to, again, we've been deceived before, but we're smarter now. So we, the sense they're giving me is we're not going to be deceived by anything similar to that or even remotely similar to that in the future. It just will not exist. We'll see it coming too clearly. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's that. Now, uh, they're wanting me to attach that back to the Knight of Pentacles. Um, they may be feeling on top of the world, this person that took advantage of us and whatnot, but they too have their day where they go under the water because they're showing me the cat going under the water and <clears throat> the cat breathes air. And when they go under the water, they got to stop breathing. Now, I hope that's not as literal as I'm taking it, but uh, the sense they're giving me is they're going to either have to adapt as a fish and go downward, or they're going to have to, what's going on here? They have to release something. They have to transition really is what it is. Because being on the negative side of things, it's like they either have to, um, well, that you know, went along with my energy report way back, which was like, if we continue to do bad things, if we're exposed for the negativity that we have and we refuse to change, we refuse to exist. Either our whole world around us will crumble to a degree we cannot do this any longer without um, heavy consequences like locking up, this kind of thing, or 
we just cease to exist. If we refuse to actually give in to the light side, things will crumble to a degree that we cease to exist. No longer is what they said. So, um, that's interesting. So yeah, I feel like for, for the most part, the energy I want to say here is that blindfold cat is going to be unblindfolded and, and stand on top. And the one that's on top ain't going to be there no more, is what I get. Now, as we move forward, especially in the life of the Libra, they're just not going to exist there. Because the Libra has gone beyond that, right? So the two of wands, looking forward, uh, you know, we're looking forward to love. And I mean, who doesn't want that, right? The base of all is is finding that partner that we uh, jive with. There's charm here. And I feel it's coming from both ends. What's the cat card on top of that? The devil. Uh-oh. So that's that person coming back, trying to charm their way back into our life is what it is. Yeah, because I was like, what? Where does that energy go? And then, the, like, next card, the devil. So the devil is going to come back and charm you and pretend that they're your best soulmate in the world. But, uh, again, the Libra is um, finely tuned to um, sense out the instinct. Now, they may not have followed this in the past, but I feel like they've learned their lesson. Not only that... They're starting to see examples outside of them of pure love and pure caring and pure. And that difference between where they were and where they could be is highly, highly felt at this time. Again, the universe infusing our heart with, you mean, these are people like, and you can see right through them that they're good all the way through. There's no stopping. There's no veiling. There's no, I can't talk about this. We're not going there. This kind of stuff. It's all open and that is refreshing. So, um, yeah, the devil's going to charm his way back into your life. And I feel like, um, we're just not going to choose that path no more. Now, as we get into the last row here, the masculine cards on top of the ace of cups again, we got the ace fatigue and an ace of cups again. You are surrounded by love and caring and, the more that we look in these areas, the more we're going to see um, the high contrast of what we had and what we need to move into. So I feel like if that uh, devil's going to come back one more time, they're going to be illuminated themselves. So on top of the Ace of Cups, the masculine card we get, there's the Ace of Cups again. Would you believe this? That is crazy. And you know what? When I made this card, I said, this is love flowing outward in all areas. So not only is the, <laughs> this is good. Not only, again, and it's two cards of flow. Three cards of all the emotional flow coming out. It's like, we're going to, nothing going to stop us, one, from sending love to others. And ain't nothing going to stop us from receiving love from others. Because at this card, I said, you know, Ace of Cups, usually a cup and, you know, there's water and fluid and whatever. And I remember making it and going, no, I need a, a masculine cup to take charge of the heart. And I, or, and I also need it overflowing to an exaggerated degree. And that's the energy they're giving me goosebumps. That's... There's always one in this series. <sighs> There's always one that tears me up. That's the energy that we deserve, and that's the energy we're going to get. And as soon as we face the light long enough, there it is waiting for us. Well, that has never happened in all the readings. Like, I've had a lot of aces, but never three aces in a row. Three aces from three different decks. Man, there's something coming for you. You balance sign you. <laughs> and it's all on the devil. So you you can't get through three aces, devil. You can't even get through one ace of cups. Because you got no love to give. Right? Okay, moving on. Whew. Okay, sorry. This is... Um, I, might, I don't know if I'm empathizing or just uh, the whole collective having you know, frustration level here with the devil. It's just beyond. Uh, but it's, it's like we finally getting through to the love sector here. 
And I feel like that's been the fight all along is uh, to stop with the anger, the hate, the bitterness, the jealousy, the resentment, the, you know, and start with the love and the caring and the honesty and the clarity and the victory and all of those feelings going forward. <sighs> Not only for my own path, but for others as well, right? Because you, you see and you feel it so heavily being empathic and, and I may be picking on, uh, up on someone else who is also empathic who has Libra in their chart somewhere. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> I have to let these feelings out or they they bubble up in the wrong way. Now, as we move forward here, forgive me for my nose and my stuffiness, but this is what happens. Now on this Knight of Pentacle energy, the wheel of fate has changed. Those in charge are no longer in charge and they're going to have to change their ways. On top of that, the masculine card we get is the Eight of Water leaving. Now, <laughs> yeah, interestingly enough, oh, okay, I'm getting a lot of levels here. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm going to drain the sinus cavity here. Um, the eight of water, I'm getting a lot of stuff here, and I... <laughs> now, first of all, let's focus on the Libra, shall we? Libra is leaving all that is negative in their life. They're changing their fate in this way. It is going to be a heavy shift. Even though they are making a decision, it is one of the most profound decisions they're going to make in their life, over their lifetime. Now, they're going, this also transfers to that person or energy, uh, again, that is or was working from the devil's chain here I don't want to give anybody any kind of hope whatsoever you go with your gut over mine over this reading because this reading is a snapshot of that energy at this exact moment moments that could change you know someone could see this reading and change their frequency and do something different so you got to be careful with these readings, how you take them and how, again, never, ever put my instinct above your own. If this is validating for you, so be it. But it's got to be validating for you, not you validate me. Carrying on. Now, as we get, again, Eight of Water is about leaving. It's leaving. I'm taking my guitar and I'm going on my own. And I'm, I'm, I'm secure in why I'm leaving. This is not serving me going down the tracks to look for a better day. Now, on the two of wands, that's the actual putting our, you know, feet forward and moving in that direction. And the sense they're giving me is into the sunlight, into what warms us. There may be here, okay, so now this is where the eight of water comes in because the devil energy is going to be back to charm you again. Now, is this because they've truly changed? Their back is up against the wall is what they said. They either have to change or they leave. Now, the leaving energy is there. Now, are they going to realize this is the uh, conundrum here? Now, on top of the devil, I feel like there's a lot riding on this card that we put. The masculine card is the moon. Yeah, and what do you know? It's a masculine figure. Give me a moment. So that it is up to them whether they decide to go forward in, in dark energy or not. Under the moon, even though it's full, it is dark energy. And along with the moon, those secrets that you have will not be kept any longer. So they have to decide whether they're going to expose their whole life or they're going to continue to go in darkness. If they continue to go in darkness, the Libra is not an option for them. But if they choose to change their life, I feel like this is indecision right now. This has not been made by that person. They have not decided, yet they will try and come back and charm you. I don't know that they've decided what road they're going to take yet. And I'll tell you, the Libra will see that as well. They'll just take one look and hear one sentence and go, you ain't changed a bit. And that person needs to come back when they've decided but them not deciding, that kind of tells you something right there. 
means that they're still in that energy and they haven't made a full-on decision from their heart to not go in that way again. That's my opinion, okay? Now, that is the reading. Woo, this was heavy and, and heavy and heavy. It's, it's heavy at the end because that person is, is going to come forth to you having not decided whether they're going to choose the light or the dark path. And they need to decide that before they come to you. But again, you're going to see that and I don't feel that's going to be an option for you. And again, the universe working highly with them to illuminate that. Maybe they don't know that. Okay? But they'll be illuminated no less. Whether it's your, um, your answer of no, I will not. Or I don't know what's going to go through there. You know, it is on until they make that decision there's in the field is just kind of hovering right so the fortune card man libra the fortune card you get is proposal uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. a romantic or business opportunity is indicated okay first of all they may come back and propose to you so if this is someone from our past that's uh going to change i would say you take that slowly and uh, I'm not going to say, I'm not, yeah, free will, right? If they want to accept, they can accept. But the problem here is we don't, they don't know whether they're good or bad. And if they don't know, how are we going to know? I feel like that's strategic. But anyway, they're going to come back and charm you, this person. And I feel like if we've had any negativity Im imposed here, that's going to be a problem to jump back in. I don't see the labor jumping back in, <clears throat> uh, frankly. A romantic or business opportunity indicated they're going, yes, for some it will be a business opportunity opening up because we have already made a decision to go away from this energy and not um, accept anything uh, of that nature. And the thing is, the universe would be working highly against letting this person back in in any way, shape, or form. So if they do come back in, keep that in mind. Um, so we're ending on that. So that brings, uh, again, I don't like to put time on the readings, but some people want to know. Um, it, you know, we're looking at the end of October, uh, November and December is when this energy can float through. I feel like we've spent a long time trying to conquer the devil in our life here. We finally come to the precipice where we will not accept any resemblance of that whatsoever. And we're starting to be shown more people in our view that have this, this higher frequency about them. And that is not only refreshing, but that is where we're, we are running in this area to get away from everything that is dark. We have one final push here. Um, one final test is really what I, they don't like me using that word, but I feel like this is what it is. It's a test of our, you know, instinct or whatnot, because the devil energy is on that moon card and they're still in it. So, you know, for some, this proposal can be a trick to get you locked into something that just won't turn out right. And for some, uh, this proposal, uh, may be what do you call it, how to transform a relationship. So for some, it may be part of their path to go along this, but extremely slowly, extremely methodically, and extremely open and, and um, transparent. And uh, the moon here, that other person is just not going to do that. I'll tell you, that person, you know, you may think, well, we're going to give it one last shot. I'm going to, you know, everything's going to get exposed here. But that person already has secrets coming in. So be aware of that. Libra, that is your career. It ends up, it always ends up. Well, the thing is, is my what they've told me is um, what we're trying to do is get lovers together here. <laughs> they tricked me and said, well, do a work reading because I was sick of, you know, I don't like coming in and doing readings and then repeating the same energy and saying the same crap. <laughs> and so they said, well, let's do a work reading. So guess what? They just pop all that energy in the work reading. Um, 
and it gets this energy that needed to get out is the sense and I was refusing to do it in another I'm not going to go in a love reading and it's not time yet for the spiritual reading so here we go <laughs> we're going to start a new series of work uh, that just jumps right into the personal department but nonetheless there may be a proposal coming in by someone who's highly veiled to us and uh, be careful and for those where a business opportunity I feel it's free and clear I feel this is good uh, I feel good about it. But the moon is also here to illuminate that partnership. And then the um, the sunny days, the two of wands, where they're facing the, the bright side of things, I feel like that's for those with the business opportunity coming in. So you will decide which of those Libras you are, and that will serve you in such a way. So again, never um, replace my instinct for your own, and you'll do fine. Three aces, unheard of. We are surrounded by love and, and acceptance universally. The devil's trying to get their foothold. I don't think it's going to work. Take care, have fun, and be kind. And we will talk to you soon.